Never have I looked so beautiful before. What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's going to be a mod showcase on the head crumbs mod. And guys, what this mod allows you to do is to gather heads of mobs. As you can see in front of us, you can actually showcase these and have like cool trophies and stuff like that. Because when you kill a mob, it has a chance of dropping its face. And there's a lot of them. It looks pretty cool. It's definitely like a lot of fun to mess around with. And probably the best part of this mod is you could actually wear them too. So I could put like a witch's face on my head if I want to. We'll try all that out. And it's also compatible with a lot of different mods. So I'm trying to show like every single one. Look at this snow golem. That face makes me laugh every time. Got the ender dragon right there. And pretty much everything. So these are the mods it's actually compatible with. Lycanite's mobs mod. It's got some really cool stuff. Twilight Forest. Thermal Expansion. Natura. And Thawncraft. I probably said that wrong. I've got no idea. I've never played with that mod. But um, I actually installed Lycanite's mobs mod to show you guys. And some of these look really sick. Seriously. Look at these. That is so awesome. So whenever you kill these mobs, there is a chance they will drop these and I can actually wear this on my head. I decided we should go into survival and actually like pick some of these up. Because seriously, I want this. I'm putting this on my head right now. And let's check it out. Never have I looked so beautiful before. I've got two heads. It looks really weird. This thing is scary. But the stuff in Lycanite's mobs mod, I thought it looked the coolest. So I figured this would be the mod I'd install to like test this stuff out. I really love this demon. It's got to be one of the most epic ones. So I can take any of these, put them on. It does not give you defense. But you don't need defense when you're this awesome looking. So yeah, definitely something to collect. I thought it'd be fun for like a survival. Because you can actually like collect these and try to get like every mob's head. And guys, one thing I didn't mention. YouTubers do exist in this mod. And with the config file, you can even add yourself if you want to. So there's me and Jen. We weren't in the mod, but added us. Look at that. That is so sick. And the really cool part about the YouTubers is they don't drop off mobs, but you find them in like dungeon chests and stuff. And what you can do, let me grab Jen's head and I'll grab my head too. You can put them on two blocks of clay and it actually turns into a statue. So you can have like your favorite YouTubers and like statues as well in like your home. Let's try it out. Bam. And here we go with Jen. Bam. So yeah, you can have like your own statues of YouTubers. Any ones you like, you can just add them in, in the config. All you have to do is type in their name. As you can tell, guys, this mod is pretty simple, but get ready for something really creepy. That is scary. I don't even know what I'm doing. You can put a YouTuber's face on your own face. And Jen's head looks a little bit weird on me. So just, just a little bit. Maybe, maybe it's normal. Maybe not. But yeah, lots of cool stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill like a bunch of mobs. I'll show you guys, you know, how this works. Pretty simple. You kill them. There's a chance they're going to drop. You can mess with it in the config too. Normally, it's probably like one out of 20 chains or somewhere around there. I figured the easiest way to do this is to switch it to night and try it out. So, zombie, give me your head. I actually put looting 10 on this. Looting does help, guys. So, you might want to put that on your weapons. And you can collect some heads. So, as you can see right here, I got myself a zombie head. I can put this down anywhere I want. And just showcase it. In any direction, too. So, if you aim it in, like, a certain way, it's going to go down like that. So, let's see. Let's get something cool. There's a lot of, like, really weird mobs around here. Come here, Clink. What does your face look like? I don't even know if I want that thing. I'll go for it. Let's grab it. All right, here we go. So I got the Clink's head. Another really weird looking one. I think the most fun you're going to have with this mod is definitely like installing it with some of the other ones it's compatible with. Because there's actually a lot of really good mods with this one. Let's get this dude. Got the Crypt Zombie's head right there. All right, let's go around a little bit more. What do those bat things have heads? They're actually fighting other mobs right now. I'm going to kill a bunch of stuff. All right, can you guys stop fighting? I really need your heads more than you guys need to kill each other. Let's grab these. Anything cool? So we got, um... I'm gonna put this on, the manticore's head. It's gotta be more normal than wearing Jen. That is so creepy. So creepy. You can look so weird in this mod if you want to. You can scare your friends, probably. If someone, like, turned around and saw your face looking like that, they would probably have a heart attack. And before we actually jump into the dungeons, I did want to kill a couple animals because, you know, they dropped their head too. It's so cool. I mean, you could have an amazing trophy room and try to get every single head in all the mods you have installed. I think that's what I'd do. I think I'm actually considering using this one in next season's modded survival. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. And right now, you know, I've got looting 10. It's a little bit unfair. I wouldn't have that in survival. So it'd be really cool to actually get some like one out of 10 chance with like looting one or looting two or something like that. So I've grabbed a couple heads. Should I put a pig head on? I have a feeling it's going to be kind of weird. Let's go for it. Let me toss it on here. This is so awkward. 
There are so many awkward ones. I definitely put on the coolest ones. You know, probably not an animal. Maybe like a demon or something like that. I like the... I actually like this one. The two-headed demon. And next up, guys, we're checking out the dungeons. You can see down here, there's actually a bunch of dungeons, like, all in a row, which is really cool. So I broke the spawners already, and I set the config file to drop them, like, a lot so I could actually, like, test it out and show you guys how it works. So normally, there might be, like, one. Right now, there's a ton. Check this out, guys. There is so many. Look at these. I don't even know who half these people are, but I do recognize Jen. She was actually in this. I didn't put her in there. Let's see. There's a couple more, like, right past this. Try to light it up a bit. So in here, the few people you might know, you might not know, they actually have a really lot of YouTubers, like, already implemented into the mod. I'll show you guys in a second. Oh, there's Jen again. How come I don't get one? I feel it's a little unfair. So, yeah, a lot of different people. If you check out in creative here, there's a ton of stuff. Like, look at all these faces. Like, probably almost all your favorite YouTubers are going to be here. There's so many. It's ridiculous. Like, pages and pages of YouTubers. And if you go through this, I didn't mention it before, but there is one for, like, every kind of horse. So if you want to collect, like, every kind, you can. It's it's up to you. It's probably not the most exciting thing to collect, and it's going to take a while, but there's a lot of horse heads. And these are, like, all the demons, because I have this one installed right now. So tons and tons of demons. Some crazy-looking stuff. Kind of want to put this one on. And pretty much any YouTuber you want. And you can go into the config and actually change it. Get rid of ones if you want to, too. So let's do this. Let's put on this head. I got to see this. How's it look? It's like a hat. This is so freaking creepy. If you're actually wondering why I had so many heads in my inventory, I actually found them on the ground down here. I'm not sure if one of the mobs broke a chest. That might have happened. It probably is. So why not actually turn these into statues? Let's go for it. All you have to do is put it on the clay. And bam, you've got a statue. You can get tons and tons. You can get like multiple of the same person if you want to too. So exploring dungeons is going to be a lot more fun if you're trying to get like special like statues that you can display in your house. But anyways, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. It adds in some really cool stuff. You can collect heads and even have statues of your favorite YouTubers. Oh my god, that mob is creepy. Hold on. We're not ending it, guys. We can't. I need a sword, and I need that thing's head right now. Not to worry, guys. This thing has got to have a cool face. It's really scary looking. It's like hiding in the ground. All right, drop it. I know you got it in there. Don't eat the cow. Please don't eat the cow right now. All right, there we go. So it looks like this might be its face. All right, let's put it on. Let's put it on. That looks weird. I thought it looked a little cooler. So, yeah, you could definitely collect a lot of heads, guys. You can make statues, all kinds of stuff. If you want to check this one out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.